The mallard, scientifically known as Anas platyrhynchos, is one of the most familiar and widely recognized duck species in the world. With its distinctive markings and adaptable nature, the mallard has earned a special place in both natural ecosystems and human culture. The mallard belongs to the family Anatidae, which also includes ducks, geese, and swans. Within the genus Anas, the mallard is a versatile and highly adaptable species. Male mallards, known as drakes, typically exhibit vibrant and iridescent plumage, including a glossy green head, white neck ring, chestnut brown chest, and grayish body. Female mallards, or hens, are more subtly colored, with mottled brown plumage providing effective camouflage during nesting. One of the most distinguishing features of the mallard is its bill, which is broad and flat, designed for dabbling in shallow waters and foraging on various aquatic plants, insects, and small fish. Their webbed feet aid in swimming and are adapted for both water and land navigation. The mallard is an incredibly versatile bird, and its adaptability is reflected in its global distribution. Originally native to North America, Europe, and Asia, mallards have been introduced to many parts of the world, often escaping from captivity or being intentionally released for hunting purposes. This widespread distribution has led to the mallard becoming a familiar sight in a variety of aquatic habitats, including lakes, ponds, rivers, marshes, and even urban areas with suitable water sources. Mallards are known for their sociable behavior, often forming flocks, particularly during migration. They are also highly vocal, with distinctive quacking sounds that vary between individuals. The courtship display of mallards involves the male bobbing its head, emitting soft calls, and displaying its colorful plumage to attract a mate. One of the fascinating aspects of mallard behavior is their migratory patterns. While some populations are resident year-round, others undertake extensive migrations, flying great distances to reach breeding or wintering grounds. Mallards typically breed in the spring and early summer. The female constructs a nest on the ground, often hidden among vegetation for protection. The clutch size can vary, but it generally consists of 8 to 12 eggs. The incubation period lasts around 28 days, after which the precocial ducklings hatch. These ducklings are capable of swimming and feeding themselves shortly after hatching, though the mother provides protection and guidance. The mallard has a unique relationship with humans. It is one of the most extensively studied waterfowl species and has also been domesticated to create domestic ducks. Domestic ducks, including the widely known Pekin and Khaki Campbell breeds, are descendants of the mallard. Domestication has led to various color variations and modifications in size and behavior compared to their wild ancestors. Beyond domestication, mallards are often encountered in urban and suburban settings, where they adapt to human-altered landscapes. Lakes in city parks, golf course ponds, and even decorative fountains can become home to mallard populations. While the mallard is not currently considered a globally threatened species, certain regional populations may face challenges. Habitat loss, pollution, and hunting pressure can impact mallard populations, as well as hybridization with domestic ducks, which can dilute the genetic integrity of wild mallards. Conservation efforts often focus on preserving wetland habitats, managing hunting practices sustainably, and educating the public about the importance of coexisting with these adaptable waterfowl. The mallard has left its mark not only on natural ecosystems but also on human culture. As a common and easily recognizable bird, it frequently appears in art, literature, and folklore. Its quacking calls are synonymous with the sounds of wetlands and have become a quintessential part of the auditory landscape in many regions. In some Native American traditions, the mallard is associated with fertility and abundance, while in European folklore, ducks are often linked to transformation and adaptability. The mallard, with its striking appearance, adaptable nature, and widespread distribution, is a species that bridges the gap between the natural world and human society. From the serene beauty of a mallard pair gliding across a pond to the bustling activity of a group of ducklings following their mother, these waterfowl have captured the attention and imagination of people around the world. As we continue to navigate the complexities of coexistence with wildlife, the mallard stands as a symbol of resilience, adaptability, and the interconnectedness of ecosystems.